such as this, right? Such as this slide, I would say this is much more pressing. Here is us using our journal entries and under the gross and net method. So you can see the difference. Breckenridge Company sells $500,000 worth of goods to Packaging Inc. Terms of the sale are 210 net 30, and you should definitely be familiar with this. As I showed you before, this means that if Packaging pays Breckenridge in 10 days, they get 2% discount. So 2% discount of $500,000, we'll see that take into account here, this the $10,000 discount. And if they don't, they have to pay within 30 days. Repair Breckenridge's journal entries for AR using both methods. I would be familiar with this much more. Could be a sim, could be a bunch of multiple choice questions. All is fair game. AR using both methods. So the journal entries at the date of the sale, the gross method, right? You don't net anything together. You don't. You just report it at the gross, the total amount. Accounts receivable and sales, sales revenue. You could also say it's sales revenue. That's what this account is. But during the exam, it might just say sales. For the, under the net method, we immediately net them together. We assume that they take the discount, and then we'd reverse that out if they really didn't. Now, what about journal entries of the payments received within the discount period? Okay, well, we are going to debit cash because this is cash will be the same. This is what really happened. You really did receive four ninety. Awesome. Sales discount taken. Well, it's just when do you account for it? It's in different steps. Under the gross method, we account for it when the cash is received there. And then AR, right? Makes sense. We're going to reduce AR by that five hundred thousand dollar amount. Or the 490 because that's what you originally recorded. You're just completely reversing out AR. Tying that there. And then what about the journal entry if the payment is not received within the discount period? Well, this is in replacement like of the prior journal entry. So you're still going to debit cash for what you receive, right? So there's no discount. So it's not received within the discount period. You got 500 because there's no discount. And then under the gross method, you this is when you would reverse out AR. And under the net method, this is when you would reverse out AR and reverse out. See, I mean, I, you know, like, not that I really care too much, but I prefer the gross method. I think it makes more sense. Whereas the net method, it's a little aggressive and you kind of have to remember that, oh, you know, crap, I, I did take it into, into account and now I have to, you know, reverse it out later on. So moving parts, uh, you yeah, know, it's a gross method and gross method is the normal method. So like, if, if it doesn't mention what method and you're just doing normal journal entries, I would go with gross method. Let's do a question on some trade discounts. Let's see what we've got. Nordstore Inc. sells designer bags with a list price of $10,000 each. The bags are sold to stores for list price minus trade discounts of 25% first, 5% at a later date. Why is that? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Not important to us. We just need to take into account the discounts. Calculate the AR balance for Nordstore if 50 bags are sold on credit. A good starting place is what's the list price? List price minus trade discounts. List price is $500,000 taking into account both of these. And then we just take into account both discounts, right? Doesn't really matter. As long as we get our ending balance accounts receivable of 356250